Hi, Mac. I love working, too. Streaming's a real job. I got my new hourly pay. You should leak what it is. Not because, like, I'm curious, but I think everybody else is, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh. Dang it. I hit my table. Regular W1950? You mean like, like a W viewer? Hold on W21. That's a pretty significant raise. Wait, regular sh Oh, worker! W means worker! <laughs> $15 before? God damn! So that means, I, I assume you're explaining like when you work a manager shift and then you work like a regular pleb shift. That's good! God damn! W! That's actually a huge wage increase. Should I work a Dollar Tree? I'm always a manager? Oh, okay. Because I know when I was at the pizza place, I was a, a assistant manager. I would still get like a manager pay on days, but like there were days where like I didn't have to do managerial duties. Hi Kim. Can we get some yo's? Do we have any peace and subs in chat? Oh, okay, thanks for explaining Mac. But still, going from 15-something to 19, that's a huge jump. I'm happy for you, man. Did you bargain more, or was that like the starting managerial pay? Eyes and ears? Okay. <laughs> I'm the store manager's assistant? Okay, okay. W. Man, I'm just realizing my laptop's really far away from me and I can't read chat. I'm gonna move my laptop. What? What time? Oh, we're at six minutes uptime. Sorry! I'll turn face cam on in a second. Also, you guys are listening to Nintendo, I'm listening to my own music, I'm listening to my YouTube Shuffle, but I kind of want to shift to my classic Korean soul. You guys, PG Tube are on in 3, 2, 1. Yo, hello. Good morning. 
Good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. Um, it is 9.58 a.m. Saturday, July 13th. Sorry, I need to move my laptop. I'm just not realizing. It's like halfway off my little side table. Because <laughs> I have a different setup today. I said that every time we do the art stream because like we don't stream here often enough to like I me mean, to justify having a separate desk. Also, my my mic is right by my fan. So if you hear it, you don't. Okay. Today the plan is simple. We got another order in the shop. W W Mag. This is gonna be their second painting. Um they ordered the grooves painting. Let's go ahead and take a a gander. Is gander a look? Or a sound? Does gander mean peak or sound? I don't know. Look at this. This is not the painting. <laughs> this is this is my original. This is painting number zero zero. So this is the grooves painting. This is one of the I think prettiest designs, but also one of the more simpler to execute. My guess is that it'll take me five hours max, but maybe I can speed run this and get this done in like two or three. So I think this is one of my more unique designs. It's one of the few that has a lot more organic shapes and lines. Organic meaning of nature. I don't know what you call like more man-made type designs. I usually prefer straight lines, but this one is fully curvatures. So this design has red and then gray scale of black to basically white. It also has a silver holographic base. So back when I launched this painting last year, I did prep a bunch of blanks. I'm not starting my speedrun timer until we're starting, okay? I'm not ruining my time. Wait, oh yeah, you can see a little bit on camera. So this canvas is prepped with a thick layer of acrylic paint going horizontally. And then it also has a layer of silo, or silo, silver holographic mica powders. This was pre-prepped, so it's fully dry, so we can go ahead and do the all the details today and get this done in one sweep. I just hit my camera. It's fine. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Um, Before we get started, gentle reminder, click the link in the pinned chat. Make sure you have my art website bookmarked. New pieces coming out soon. Smile. <laughs> Surely. But whenever the new pieces drop, we will do a shareholders meeting stream. It'll be on this channel, because I want to do it for the art fans, because there will be a gift card giveaway and... A giveaway for the what you call it the giveaway for the actual card pieces that will be sold so make sure you're following this channel I have notifications on you can also follow my Twitter not the art Twitter but my main Twitter piece in 17 on Twitter for an update about that stream it'll probably be not this upcoming week but maybe next week because next week on the main channel is the theme week audio listeners screw you visual listeners look at this spoilers for next week Hi, Electra. Can we get some yo's? Hello. <laughs> I was here. I just forgot to clock in. Aren't you, Manager Mag? You should know how to do this shit. Okay. So, shareholders meeting on this stream, on this channel. Not this upcoming week, but maybe next week. So, follow my main Twitter. What was it? I'm in audio only. I'm sorry, Mag. <laughs> you know, we gotta, we gotta keep a little secret secret. You already know what it is, Mac. Being the manager is fire. Sometimes I could just do. Hold, hold, hold. Okay, it's back. It's back. It's back. It's back. It's back. Guys, 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 can I get a million subs that way I can buy a new fucking capture card? She cut you off, yeah. Yeah, I'm fixing it. Whoa, that's my real webcam. <laughs> There's tape on it. Okay, I fixed it, guys. Saved. Um, audio listeners, the camera cut out, and whenever my capture card for my camera crashes it makes my mic cut out but i'm back <laughs> what was i saying 
Okay, so shareholders meeting on this channel in like two weeks, probably. Probably. You guys want to see some leaks since we're at the start of stream? I leaked this already, but I'm not leaking my other shit. This is an old leak. So I'm working on a, a stamp series where it's like floral fauna, but for orchard trees based on the Washington area. So I have pears and then I have oranges. There, Okay, there aren't many orange orchards in Washington because it's a bit too cold here. But I'm also concepting out hops, you know, beer, cherries and blueberries. We actually did cherry tree and blueberries at my parents' house. So this was a leak before. I'm working on this in the background. Um, it's actually really cool because I made a template for myself. These, these are um, 2.5 by 3.5 rectangles. That way, whenever I do make sketch cards, I'm sketching to scale. And whenever I do digitize these drawings, they will be to scale. W. I'm also working on a different sketch art series that will be launched in two weeks. I'm not leaking it today. So this will these will be out in like probably three weeks or a month. Because... Um, for this series, I want to get brown embossing powder, but not a lot of shops have embossing powder right now, so I can't browse. But the stamp series that'll be out in like two and a half weeks will be black embossing powders, so I don't need to wait till brown. Those are so cool, thank you. They'll look a lot better once it's refined. I'm working on it. Something else? To note, I did post this on my blog, so guys, I have to reach to my keyboard. Exclamation my blog. Check out the blog occasionally. I'm gonna try posting more. So, <laughs> wait, the stamp is melted on here. <laughs> okay, so for every single piece from June onwards, we'll have my stamp signature. And I'm going to change this every year. That way, if you are going to be collecting my artwork over the years, there will be a different signature every year. So, I'll stamp it real quick for you guys. This is a hand-carved stamp. This is um, palette hybrid ink. It's kind of like India ink. It doesn't smear when you put water on it. But it doesn't work very well on porous papers. Yeah, um, previous artwork will not have an artist signature. It just has my name on it. So all sketch cards, all paintings, will have this signature on the back of it. Like, you know how some people put, like, um... How you say... Like, you know, the wax seal? Mine's just gonna be a little stamp, because I think the wax seals are wasteful. All I can think about is the poor little bees. Okay, I gotta get a blank paper. I want to see some other things. Since we're yip yapping. Wait. Okay, this doesn't like anything. So I was concentrating out different signatures. This is like a little doodle page I made a while ago. So this was another design I had. You can see the P here and then an A here. It kind of looks like a paper clip. I kind of like that concept, but it's like too long. And then this I thought was kind of cool, but then I realized, oh, that's literally the Patreon logo. Uh-oh. And I like this with the circle, the similar paperclip design. Yeah, but then I decided to go for this year just with the regular boxy. Because I think it kind of looks like, you know, the atomic symbols for the whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> but apparently PA is like a really toxic metal. Which I'm not toxic. Surely. Oh yeah, there's no other leaks. That's what I was contemplating out for my signature. It could be next year's signature, I don't fucking know. I love paper cuts, me too. Me too. Oh wait, Kim, just don't watch today's VOD. Okay, ready? Ready?
Watch this big reveal. Get ready to pog. Wow, look at that. Okay, the ink kind of dried. <laughs> look how clean that is. This is free-handed. Oh yeah, the ink fucking dried. I was <laughs> too busy talking. So every single sketch card, every single painting from June onward should have the signature. I think Kim, I think your painting might have the signature. I think so. There we go. That's my new signature for this year. Okay, I think that's enough yippee happen. Should we get to painting? I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Guys, make sure you bookmark the website. Pinned chat. Click the link. Go bookmark it. Es todo. Okay. My painting does have the signature? Cool. I remembered. <laughs> the problem with the India ink is that the back of the canvas is like this waxy paper to seal the canvas in. So I have to wait like another four hours for the stamp ink to dry. Okay. Let's get started. So this is what we're going for. Yeah, it doesn't fit, but this is what we're aiming for. My guess is that I can get this done in four hours maximum. If I'm speedrunning, I can get this done in like two or three. Put your guesses in chat. How long do you think this will take me? Also, my PNG tour is not moving. Is she? Yeah, she's not talking. I fixed it. 6.45. <laughs> your PNG tuber is scared? <laughs> oh, that's 25 hours? <laughs> okay, okay. So to explain my my pricing for all my paintings and any future artwork, it's an hourly rate plus 15 to 20 for supplies. Because supplies includes like actual the can the canvas costs like three dollars, paints, stencil, box to mail in. So depending on how big the painting is, supply costs vary. So this painting I think retails for like 120. So that means this painting should take four hours. Okay, I'm ready. This timer begins now. Okay, so this painting, since it's similar, more organic shapes, the only stencil I use for this one is for the large red curvatures. So the, the stencil is kind of weird because it's not connected, right? Because why am I going to make a whole, like, 12 by 16 stencil when there's just a whole bunch of empty space, right? So that's why, like, I cut it at the top. And also, I'm pretty smart. Look at this. I made the top of the stencil the actual corner of the canvas. That way when I line it up. Because not every um, canvas panel will be exactly 12 by 16. There will be like a quarter inch differential on either side. L. So I just line up the corner. Right here. Clean. Okay. So another thing I noticed on some of my older paintings. If you get an older one, I'm um, sorry. Whenever you use pencil, I need to move some of my paints. I'm going to knock these over. Whenever you use pencil on a canvas panel, especially mechanical, since it's thinner lead, it will leave slight indentations in your canvas. So when I'm stenciling, I'm no longer using pencil or color pencil because color pencil will leave a waxy residue. I'm using Sharpie. Because since Sharpies are like plastic and felt tip, it's a little bit easier on the canvas. So even if I press a little bit hard on the canvas panel with the Sharpie, it won't leave too much a noticeable groove as a pencil would. Granted, if I wanted to avoid that, I would use like a drawing graphite pencil. But when you do that, the lead smears very easily. And I drag my wrist a lot. So, there we go. Um, I got two Sharpies. Both pink. Even if it's red, I don't want to use red, but the red paint will surely cover pink. Clean. It's hard to see on camera, but it's a very fine pink, faint pink outline. The red paint will easily cover that. Now I'm going to draw on the rest of this.
Oops. <laughs> Keep on hitting the tripod. I moved the stencil. It's fine. On this specific piece, I could afford to be a bit more careless since the line work isn't too precise. As we saw in the circle board painting, the line has to be like as straight as it can be. Okay, I got my stenciled lines for the red section so I can put these aside and put them on the floor. <laughs> now, for the red layers. For the red, as usual, I'm using interior house paint. All of my windows are open. I do have fans on. I do not need to wear a mask unless I'm working with powders. And since the canvas is already pre-varnished and powdered, I do not need to wear a facial mask. But as always, um, if you're working in a non-ventilated area, you should be wearing a respirator if you're working with paint. But I got all the windows open. I got a fan directly at me, so I'm safe today. And also, this is interior house paint. So once it's fully dry, it won't be toxic. Smile. So for the red, I'm using um, Home Depot. This is their Dynasty. The Stiletto Shade. It's like a medium red. Shake her up. I forgot to pre-shake my paints today. Oopsie. So for this particular painting, it takes about two or three layers of the red to get a fully opaque color. Because whenever you paint on top of varnish, it will resist a tiny bit for your first layer. Let's take a peek. Yo! I'm so good at mixing. Have y'all ever gone to Home Depot and gotten, like, custom paint mixed? And you see the machine go... Duh, 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 duh. It's so funny. That was also my XQC impression. Okay. It's so fun watching the, the machine mix the paint. <laughs> oh wait, this paint is pungent. Oh my god. I steal the paint cards too? Oh my god, same. You know, I've gotten better and I've stopped doing it. Because you steal it, but then what do you use it for, you know? Nothing. Okay, we're five minutes in and the first bit of paint is going down. So an issue I run into whenever I'm painting large areas is about too much paint down. So I'm trying to put a super thin layer of red. Because since the red sections will be the only fully opaque sections of this painting, it's very imperative that I don't put the paint down too heavy. Because since the red already stands out, I don't want it to stand out more by poorly placing the paint. Clean! Wait, maybe I'm- guys, I'm good at this shit. <laughs> Okay, you know I said I reached out to a few like art shops to see if I can become a vendor and like sell my art. Nobody emailed me back this week. I'm so sad. You know, I guess I'm gonna have to go in person and Riz. Which is what I'm best at. email I'll send them hate mail joking you know what the problem is it's because not a lot of young people are in the art scene so I'm just convinced all the middle-aged people just don't know how to open their email imagine they click on the stream because <laughs> I link my website in those emails right like I'm just so scared like they scroll down the website they see the, the twitch link they click on the stream and then they see me shit talking like that's not how you get in the industry
Okay, I like when my brush strokes go like any old way. I think the texture is cool. Like even if the paint will be fully basically flat and opaque when it's dry, you can still see strokes underneath. Clean! Dude, that took two minutes. I'm not speedrunning right now. Okay, so that's one layer of red. You can see it's not fully flat and opaque. You can still see the strokes underneath. This will probably... To be safe, I should probably do three layers of red. No wonder I got a random whisper asking about how well you are an artist. Uh-oh. Was it Dr. Disrespect? Ooh, look how clean! Wait, I should not make doctor's disrespects on my joke. This is on this channel. This is technically a business account. There's one loose strand fucking me up. You should still say you don't stand for those actions? Oh yeah, of course. Uh, don't message minors. Easy. <laughs> I think that's like, the basic thing. Like, it's so- it's surprising, but also not surprising how many people like defended him still. I'm convinced anybody who defended Dr. Disrespect in that situation probably sees himself seeing if they're like eligible for the Juliet Clause, you know what I mean? They probably had themselves in the same boat at some point. Man, this paint stinks. Clean. Oh, you didn't even see it. That was a super clean line. I have my saturation settings different on this on this um, account so I know on cam the red looks really really bright but in reality it's like two shades darker I'm rinsing the brush
Hi, alien. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Thank you for following this channel. Oh yeah, it's your birthday! Happy birthday! You said you were going out today, right? Well, don't spend all day in Twitch chat, you know? Go out and enjoy your birthday. I'm dancing. Could have missed the stream, though? True. <laughs> okay, I'm waiting for this red to dry a little bit more. I could put some of the filler strokes in. So just to explain while the red is drying. The interior part, I don't have a stencil, it's just freehand strokes. So how I do it is I put a black stroke in semi-random places. You can see how it kind of winds around. So depending on like how I feel and like how hard I push the brush, different strokes are all at different widths, right? You can see how this one goes medium, thin, thick. So, the cool thing about this specific painting is that all the groove variations will be slightly different. Very similar, but they will be fully originals for any replica I do. Yeah, this one is not fully set yet, so I'll start doing some of the black strokes. So, how to do this design. No copiers. I'm explaining my process. This is not giving you permission to copy. It's one stroke black, two strokes light black. Three strokes gray, four strokes light gray, and then fill in the rest of the space with white that's gray but basically white. I'm gonna use my script liner brush now if your brush the bristles are kind of wonky just dip it in water and then shape it with your fingers you can also use wax they have specific waxes for paintbrush bristles but i just don't have any brokey oh i did buy since this painting sold the other day i was able to buy some postcards like the little inserts to put in purchases i don't think yours will have this mac but future paintings will I'm gonna get tinnitus. <laughs> Do you think I'll get workers comp? Clean. So the first stroke goes to that here. So all the black and gray strokes are fully freehand. I'm going over it again because since I did the streak to the stroke too thin, it didn't adhere to the painting as well. It's the first one. <clears throat>
The next one goes... Just about a straight stroke. A school scam called me? Did they say you have 200,000 do intuition? You know, I get those calls sometimes, but it's from my actual school and I'm convinced they're scam, but I know it's not. <laughs> okay, this next one. I'm doing it with my finger a few times. Just so I memorize the stroke. Yeah, I think I got it. I got it. Messed up a little bit. Pretty close. Yeah, I have to be careful. You guys can't see it because the camera cuts off here. But I'm like leaning over. So my chest and my arm is touching the canvas. Maybe I was wrong. This might take me five hours. <laughs> I forgot how difficult the line work is. One hundred and twenty-five hour running coming.
That goes hard in the retirement room. <laughs> what does that mean? Dude, I just straighten my bristles and then I brush at my mic. I'll do one more black black stroke here and then I'll do another layer of red. It's 91 here, I'm gonna die. I was gonna say it's 90 here, but it's only 70 today. Thank goodness. That's why. I've been saying northern states are better because the inevitable heat wave is coming. Yeah, I think it was like 90 something for us here on Tuesday. We should all just move to Washington State, huh? I'm in Colorado for vacation right now. What is there to do in Colorado? <laughs> I was talking to my sister about like places in the states we should visit, and she's like, there's nowhere good. I was like, true. But like, if, if I had the opportunity to travel, I would go like, out of country. I need to touch up this land a little bit. New York is pretty good. New York was on my list, but like, New York, from what I know, just seems like consumerism. But granted, all I know about New York is uh, Times Square. Also, Mac, what do you think? Be honest. How's this look? The vibe is cool? Cool. Oh yeah, you can't see. Wait, they have alligators in Colorado? I thought that was only in Florida. Okay, I gotta touch up this stroke up here too. sand dudes you can slide down wait that sounds kind of fun that sounds like a mario level <laughs> okay guys i've got to check on the washing machine 
keeps sweeping. Yeah, you change your check color to green. I hate the laundry machine. I'm gonna stop my speedrun timer. Guys, put your favorite emote in chat right now. Have a question? Uh oh. As long as it's not anything bad. Also, I don't like when people open. I have a question. Just ask it. Is your refrigerator running? How do I ban you? <laughs> How do I do it? You've gotten banned before, Alien. You're on thin ice. <laughs> About to get the crystal tree event? That was an accidental ban. I don't think we've had an intentional ban on this channel. When did I get banned? Um, I had inside sources say that... Um, how do I say? <laughs> I mean, you were acting sus in chat, and then we looked at your profile, and it looked like... Um, like, you weren't of age, but then I found out that, like, Twitch has a verification system, so, like, it's very hard for, like, a minor to have an account, so you're in the clear. But, like, also, like, don't ever say your age in a Twitch chat. Plus, that was a year ago. You banned me a year ago and I didn't know? Yeah, because, like, Twitch has a new setting to where if you ban a viewer, you can't view their account anymore. That's why when you said, oh, I just couldn't find your username, that's why. It's because I didn't unban your main account. But it's okay. We have to take, like, any... On this account, you couldn't? Oh. Weird. Okay, then it, that was not my fault then. <laughs> that's just you forgetting my user. You got banned? Yeah, because, like, uh, it's the streamer's responsibility to take, like, responsibility whenever a viewer is, like, even jokes about being, like, under 13. That's why I tell you guys to not make jokes like that. I, I said this yesterday, but, like, I'm fine if, like, young people watch my channel, like, high schoolers or whatever. But just don't talk about how old you are, because you don't know, like, who's watching. I was so cringe last year, yeah! <laughs> yeah, let's change the topic. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, we can't bring up old beef. I'm indifferent about red. I don't wear it often, because red is a very aggro color. But it also symbolizes confidence. Oh no! Cool.
clean. I messed up the red. I colored outside the lines, but I caught it in time. I feel the way about blue. Really? I wear blue a lot. You know how they have those, like, Korean color matching sessions you can get? Should I do one? I don't know how much, like, I'd actually listen to it, though. I don't... The only colors I don't wear are, like, yellow and orange. But that's because, like, those are my undertones, I think. I wear a lot of blue, but that's because, like, blue is a very safe color. I should do one of them? Okay. How much do they cost? Should I rewatch the boys? Yeah. I'm on the newest season, like, episode two. But I got spoiled because I was scrolling Twitter one day. Am I a gold or silver girly? I don't wear jewelry. But when I was younger, I always wore silver. And if anybody's curious, my birthstone is diamond. Wait, alien, you're spoiling! You're spoiling! What the fuck? Dude! Stop! <laughs> Don't spoil! Dude, you literally talk about this shit and you're like, Oh my god, I accidentally spoil stuff all the time. I think that deserves a ban. Wait, do I? Can I warn people on this channel? I should be able to. Let's see. Warn? Um, what should I warn you for? Okay, there is no spoilers rule in this channel. <laughs> you know what? I think it's fair. I should spoil something. <gasps> Michael Bobo, can we get some yo's? Guys, the whole gang is here. You know, I thought we were in an anti-prison chat room. I don't get why so many of you guys are wanting people to get banned. I'll take a vow of silence. I could just silence you for like 10 minutes too. Not me walking in on spoiler talk. That's why you gotta get in here early, Kovovo. Ooh, that was a clean stroke. Wait, nose reveal. Now I can't click the face reveal anymore. You guys saw my face. What got spoiled? Uh, watch the VOD. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not- I, I'm not that easy to bait. You guys should know this. I've been streaming for three years. Oh, where? Three years. Oh, I did my brush too much. Okay, chat, I want you guys to be honest. If I made my own scrapbook paper and, like, I got a deal with Michaels or some shit, would you guys buy it? Do we have any crafters in chat? Not Minecrafters. It's an art channel. The second layer of red is done. It'll probably need one more. Because I want the red to be fully opaque. <laughs> I think 
I should get banned or timed out? Okay, since you're asking for it. Um, let's give you 10 minutes. I don't like when people ask for a ban. <laughs> Little mouth question mark? Also, ban me is an auto ban term. Wait, wait, I feel mean. It's Alien's birthday. How do I untime him out? I'm sorry, it's your birthday. You get one pass. <laughs> I forgot. I can't be mean. Michael's has a lot of coupons, so I guess so. No, you cannot buy my scrap paper with coupon. I'm shocked that Alien came back. I was trying to solve the problem. <laughs> I believe in reform. Oh my god, I dead ass. I have dried red paint on my hand, I got so scared it was blue. It's not, it's paint. How about we just make a new rule? We don't talk about TV shows or movies. Then nobody can complain about spoilers, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now back to black. That's not something I've said before. the boys until this year so like if i wasn't caught up i would have gotten spoiled and then i would have been mad Grr. like if you wanted to watch the office already you should have okay you saying is a classist because don't you need a subscription to watch the office Chat, get her! Get her! I didn't start watching, like, TV shows or movies until, like, I became an adult. Because we didn't have cable. What is The Boys? Um, it's an adult TV show. Based on a comic. It's, like, very anti-hero. Same writers as Supernatural. I didn't have internet until 2019. Dang, you missed a lot. But you also missed a lot of the cringe shit. I didn't start using the internet until like... I was 13. I was too scared. Like... I didn't browse Instagram or Twitter or whatever. I didn't make an account until like I, I became an adult, but I didn't browse until I was 13 because like, I was too scared. That, like, somehow, the staff would know that, like, I was not 13. Like, I legit didn't make my YouTube account until I turned 14. I was too scared. <laughs> that was also such a goody good. Because I think I was also convinced, like, if I made an account when I wasn't the right age, like, my parents would get an email or something. I wish you wouldn't get banned. Yeah, true. I think my first social media was Tumblr. Because I used Tumblr from, like, 2014 to 17, like, when Tumblr was peak.
This one's a very important one, that's why I'm drawing it many times. Yeah, I got it. I'm locked in. Guys, just a gentle reminder, we are an hour to stream, so if you're new here, click follow, it's free. And if you haven't already, click the link in the pinned chat, bookmark my website. And stay up to date on my latest releases. Next drop should be, eh, two weeks. Bookmark the website, type 1. Type 2 if you're a hate watcher. Thank you, Kim. I'm gonna get it tatted. I get I get a tramp stamp. I can imagine. I remember seeing like a Vice video a while ago, I think. It was talking about how like some people get paid to get like tattoos to sponsor companies and shit. Also, I think I gotta check the wash again, guys. What's a tramp stamp? <laughs> um, it's like a tattoo you get right above your your like your belt loop line, you could say. No, I don't want them to Google it. I don't know what's gonna come up. Above the butt? No, it's above like the waistline. Oops. 
How would like a sponsorship for the Peace and Art channel work? Like, you know, people get sponsors for like gamer subs. I'm not sponsored to say that. Like, how would you even promote art? Also, I gotta check the washing machine. Um, guys, put your favorite emote in chat. I forgot to mute the mic. It's a good thing I didn't say a bad word. I fixed the washer. It's really annoying because it's a washer that goes like this instead of like this. So the clothes gets unbalanced a lot. Oh. Today's drink of choice? Yogurt. Also, I know I'm on low cholesterol, but this has... Only 3%, so it's not too bad. No, you wouldn't hear the beeping on stream. It's just my sister kept texting me. She texted me three times. It's beeping. It's beeping. And she doesn't know how to, f how to fix it. <laughs> like, you know how you ask your husband to, like, heal the spider? I'm the person who, like, has to fix the laundry machine. Matt kills the spider. Oh, I'm the spider killer, too. No, if it's a spider, I I take it out. But if it's a pest, I'll, I'll take care of it. Handy Mandy or Bob the Builder? Wait, is that... Is that the actual character's name, Handy Mandy? That sounds bad. <laughs> Mandy's Mexican? Oh, I thought like Mandy like a feminine name. Never mind. I mean guys can also go can... <laughs> guys can also do the task. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Uh Twitch staff, it's all jokes. Twitch staff, you would not ban a channel like me, right? That would be um Anti-gay. Anti-woke peace and yeah, I'm on my anti-woke art, guys. Dude, imagine. Okay, I made this section too big. Oops! <laughs> the Ben Shapiro art. <laughs> nah. No, I would never. Unless? Nah, I'm shaking my head. I would have to get like a massive bag to like flip sides, you know what I mean? And by a massive bag, I mean like a hundred mil. And even then. Ew, where 
to flip sides? It would make sense to do it now when I like have a small platform. Oh no, I got paint all over. It's 11.05. Remind me when it's 11.11 .11 so we can make our wish, guys. We're, ne We're doing 51 minutes. Not doing too bad on time. I feel like a lot of my designs would be easier with like an acrylic marker. That would take the fun out of it, right? <laughs> Whose painting is this? This is Max. They purchased it on Thursday, I believe. Wait, Mac, are you still in chat? If you are, uh, tell me. I have a funny story. <laughs> it's weird when streamers add, ask you to add them on Snapchat. No, for real, I've been saying this. Like, when people say add me on Snap, like... <clears throat> Like, I know they're- I hope they're not posting, like, gross things, but still, it's sus. I'm listening while working? Okay, so, Mac, on my Shopify, like, dashboard, there's a lot of different settings that I can see. And one of the settings is fraud protection. And, Mac, this purchase got flagged for fraud? Because <laughs> it said you purchased in a different, like, city than the mailing address and I was like what the hell so I guess if somebody is using a VPN I assume you were just like out of the house or something but um I guess if somebody uses a VPN it flags them too 
<laughs> That's where my card went. <laughs> yeah, Mac just packed it with them in their suitcase. That's the long con. It was so funny because, like, I got a notification via email. They're like, hey, this purchase is flagged for fraud. I'm like, what the hell? I was like, I don't know, Mac, but imagine. <laughs> I was hoping when I purchased it, really? Weird. Maybe you are scamming. <laughs> But I trust you, Mac. Oh yeah, because you said Mac had a cold, right? We both got a cold. Okay, did you- I was gonna ask, did you wear a mask on your flight? I've heard rumors that the CDC is recommending that you mask all the time. It was so much fun. Aww. I cried leaving? Yeah, you, you told us in shit. It was kind of sad. I would cry too. I didn't wear a mask, but my entire family just got COVID again. Dude, third time again? What the fuck? I haven't gotten it once. You guys are lacking. I literally haven't gotten it once. The one time where I did get sick last October, I took a COVID test and it was negative. You guys just fucking suck. You quarantine yourself? Okay, W. <laughs> now you guys can't leak? No leakers. I didn't say this on the main channel. But... I might have to see my grandma soon. She might not be doing good. Ooh! Yeah, so like, I have to be very careful when I'm out now. No, she's in Hawaii. So, guys, if we sell a million paintings, I could buy a plane ticket right now. Otherwise, um, we're probably gonna go in October. Because we don't have the money right now. So guys, bookmark the website right now. Do it! Yeah. Um, 
She's waiting on testing, but she might have cancer. She's fucking 96, though. She's... <laughs> She's lived a long and fulfilling life. So far. And she will. But... We're probably gonna go in October. Just my sister and I. Thank you, chat. I didn't want to say anything on the main channel because, like, it's not confirmed or anything, and I don't want to farm too much. But we're hoping to go in October. That way, because the new um, flu and COVID boosters are coming out in September. So we wanted to go after we got our, our jabs. How much is a round trip ticket? Um, depending on the season. To Hawaii from Washington, it can be upwards of like six, seven hundred. But the off season, like less tourists go during September and October. So like, fall is the perfect time to go. Like tickets go for like, um, four to five hundred round trip. But either way, we wanted to wait till the new vaccines are out. So. Cause like, imagine we go visit her and then we get her fucking sick. Cause I don't think my grandma's traveled since pandemic. It's not that she's like scared or anything, it's just like she's old. And the last trip um, that we went on together was to Japan. Dude, she tripped in the hotel. <laughs> she tripped in the hotel lobby and she scraped her knees so bad because her skin is really thin and she got blood everywhere. You know, classic old lady shit. Uh, we'd probably stay with her. Because um, we wouldn't be able to, like, afford to, like, do anything touristy. And, like, my sister and I have lived in Hawaii. So it's like, we've kind of seen everything already. We kind of want to just go to, like, hang out and stuff. Because my sister was able to go last year. But I couldn't go because, obviously, no money. That's wild. I know. It was, like, really scary in the moment, but, like, looking back is kind of funny. <laughs> like, it was in Japan, too, so, like, all the hotel staff was, like, freaking out. But, like, a little bit of family drama. My mom is also gonna go visit my grandma, because my grandma's my mom's mom. And my mom is gonna go, like, in August. But she didn't stay how long she's gonna stay for. So I told my sister, I was like, we ain't going at the same time, no fucking way. You know, I don't want a little reunion. I'm looking at the red paint. And I think two... Two layers is good. I kind of like how it looks a little bit patchy. Yeah, it would be huge drama if we all went at the same time. Okay, I think I have one more black stroke. He got it. Yeah, so that's like something that's been bugging me the past two weeks. Also, why I haven't been like working as much is like I'm, I'm just sad. And also, my grandma doesn't know how to use her phone, so she hasn't like called or texted me back or anything. <laughs> it's so funny.
Taking my last break, W. Since your manager now, Mac, like, are they giving you more hours too? I hope they are. Oh yeah, cause you graduated too, so you probably have like a more full availability, right? Six hours. L not full time. Oh shit. The stroke is. Oh shit. It's supposed to go further down. Oh well. Every groove's painting will be different. Smile. Me full time, so stupid. But you know, I guess the only good thing is that since you're working part time and your wage, you'd be making the same, if not more, as if you were working full time at minimum. So, I guess that's the only plus. It's kind of fun going on the computer. <laughs> what sucked about our work computers? Because of retail, they had no browser options. Like, I couldn't, like, do anything fun. I couldn't open Papa's cupcake or or anything. Yeah, it's like the school computers. They know the moment you try to go to, like, certain websites. I can't go on Twitch at work, but I can go on Reddit. You know why? It's because Reddit is an educational website, technically. If you squint. Okay, officially, all the black strokes are done. Now we can start working with the light black. An hour in? Not too bad. So for the dark, or for the light black strokes, it'll be two. I think I'm gonna change my brush, because this one is a bit too thin. 
For the black strokes, I want them to be intentionally thin, but for the medium and light grays and white, I want them to be thicker strokes. I like this one. You guys, we're an hour in. Get your snacks and your drinks, non-alcoholic, of course. It's too early in the day. Wait, it's 11.25! You guys didn't remind me to make a wish! Cheers. I'm getting too old. Same. Wait, don't say that. You're like a month younger than me, Kim. Hey. <laughs> now, this is my favorite part of doing this painting. I can do... Because a lot of the black strokes will be thin to medium thin. But now the filler strokes can be... Like medium width to thick width. Oh, I'm ready to go out. Oh, okay. I was putting on lotion? Huh? Huh? <laughs> huh? Now, the only thing I need to be mindful is when I'm looking at the original version, I need to know which side I place the, the light black. Because if you place it here, versus on the inner side, it'll drastically affect the shape. So only two strokes of this light black. So since this brush is slightly thicker, I should be able to only do one layer of paint per stroke. Guys, stop flirting the chat, it's not appropriate. I know you guys are an item, but like, come on, tone it down. So I did light black on this side, this side, and here. I like embarrassing Kim. <laughs> Not gonna lie, if I had a GF or BF, let me just say I support PDA of all forms. Wait, this looks so pretty. You know, a little bit of banter is fine. A little bit of poking and prodding is fine. 
I just don't like the couples that make like everything a prank. Cause then I feel like you never know when you're safe. Me held hands, that's the most I do. Oh, cute. Guys, can I get a girlfriend for Christmas? I put it on my list every year. You can take my mom, she's single. Nah, she's on my smash list. I want something long term, you know? I know we joke about like smashing moms, but like, there's gotta be people who actually do it, you know? Like, anybody who actually smashes their friend's mom, you gotta be, like, the worst asshole. Also, like, if I found out that my mom smashed one of my friends who's my age, I would feel very scared. That's some, like, predator shit, you know what I mean? I smashed mom before? You're joking. That's like doubly scandalous, because that's gay, too. Like, literally gay, not like... Like the derogative way to say gay. <laughs> I got a T-A-N mom on the roster? Wait... I've been saying this game, we should just make tic tacs about all your little stories. Wait, can I share this? Kim sent me a voice memo because she was having issues with her package. And Kim's voice, you sound nothing like I thought. Your, your voice is kind of high pitched like mine. I was like, what the hell? Uh, guys, follow the channel right now and I'll tell you, I'll say thank you. For some reason, I thought Kim's voice would be, like, deeper. I don't know. No, but, like, Mac sounds exactly like I thought Mac would sound. It was weird. Am I girly pop? <laughs> Wait, so am I girly pop? I feel like they both sounded like how I expected. I don't, I don't know. It, for some reason, I thought Kim would have like a really deep voice. Okay, I'm not saying that message. <laughs> I'm deleting it. <laughs> what? No, don't say it's nasty. You're the one who said it. You, you said it, not me. How, how else am I supposed to read it? Twitch tab, get her, get her. I meant like hardcore. I know, but you could have said hardcore. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Sorry, I had to lock in for that line. Look how thin it is. I was locked in. Oh, also, I gotta grab a band-aid. I forgot. I'm getting a blister. I'm gonna grab a band-aid. Should I get a Hello Kitty one? so small i can see the top of her head and over all the time <laughs> i'm laughing but kim is only like an inch sh shorter than me but you know an inch can make all the difference wink I think Kubo, you said you're like six foot or like five eleven. But it's basically six foot, right? Mm -hmm. Six foot, damn. Six one. Okay, can't be adding an extra inch. But I'm locking in, I'm locking in.
It's fucking weird. Everybody would sweat past me when they see that I'm a streamer. Bumble BFF? Don't you have to, like, have clout to use Bumble? Or is Bumble for everybody? Is for anybody? Oh. Wait, guys, follow the channel. If you follow, I'll tell you thank you. And no, legit, I don't have any good pictures. <laughs> I need to get some like photography friends. wall right now for what is this something i said or like our mom and dad fighting secretly okay this is coming along oh it's because max said they used bumble before oh you know controversial I think it's kind of cool whenever somebody's dated a lot or like smashed a lot too because then like it would imply that like they've had more experience multiple meanings of the word and then also they probably like learned a lot so they're probably gonna be a, like a lot better at, like doing a relationship which is kind of like a diss at me because i've only had one boyfriend do you get work experience yeah the resume is loaded Kim and I are honestly great. I hope so. You know, I don't think a divorce joke would be like a really fun meta in the chat. I'm the opposite. I'm not a big fan. Really? I don't have a lot of experience, but I think I'm doing good. That's good. Ultimately, it comes down to like if your partner makes you happy, I guess. Okay, this might take five hours. I'm not- no, no, this might take four. I should try Bumble? Fuck. What, what is my sugar mama gonna think, though? Hot girl summer. I mean, I've been biking every day for like an hour total. Because I do about like 20 to 30 in the morning, 20 to 30 at night. I didn't bike this morning because I cooked this morning. And I was like, if I'm gonna paint, I can't be exhausted. But seriously, what is my sugar mama gonna think? You just gotta jump into it when you're ready. True. That is true. I'm not gonna get bullied into it. I gotta- in order for me to like justify like dating or like going out to like make new friends on Tinder, 
I need to have capital. Like, I think it's kind of cool how, like, girlies aren't expected to pay for a date. But I don't want to, like, lean into that too much. Eat the rich, get a free combo meal? No, I'm not gonna lie, Apple D's date. Apple D's. <laughs> Apple D's nuts! Apple D's date would go crazy. What if I streamed my dates? And then I just like hired people to be my date. You know, every other streamer does it. I would watch, of course you would. You would see the note and you'd be like, oh my god! I have to watch this one. Screw Mario Kart gameplay, I need to watch the date stream. <laughs> Popcorn and all? <laughs> it would be cinema. You guys would see- Dude, I'm so good at flirting. For the Valentine's Day streams, I've considered, like, actually doing that, like, hiring an actor to, like, go on a date. But it's, like, too much. It's too much. You think you can date yourself? Like, <laughs> like, go full narcissist? Like, I say, I just want to love myself, and then I just, like, date myself? Elaborate, please. Oh, like a copy of me? No, I think I'm too sad. I have, um, I have the anxious and then also attached love style. So, like, I'm hot and cold. Who would carry the heavy things? Me, but then I'm weak. So, like, I would need a, a strong girly or guy. I also have a lot of trauma, so, like, I don't think the copy me would be able to, like, handle, like, a double, like, a double multiplier. But, like, I have a lot of good things. I know how to cook. I am funny. I do art. I'm pretty chill for the most part. Who would carry the heavy things? Oh, wait, I already answered that, me. I brought up the 50-pound portable AC upstairs yesterday by myself. Kim had me carry the groceries and laundry upstairs. Dang, I think you're whipped. Get the old ball and chain off. I didn't ask for them to do it. I just knew they would. <laughs> Real. <laughs>
Well, this is gonna take all day. Guys, follow the channel, click the button, and I'll say thank you. Oh, wait, guys, there's a new YouTube video on the main channel. YouTube.com slash at pieces 17. Go watch it. Is this Home Depot paint? Yeah. Or there's no logo. It's Bear Dynasty. Interior matte. Primer mixed in. That's why the colors are still so opaque even after a year. Like the paintings in my stream background, they're not faded at all. multiple perks to using the house paint. I can order a lot. It'll consistently be the same shade. I don't have to hand mix. And also the colors are long lasting and basically fade resistant. And the colors themselves are a lot more opaque than traditional acrylics, even the high-end expensive acrylics. I think the biggest reason why I'm using the house paints is so I can easily replicate. So this many times, I'm very against computer prints. To me, lino prints are fine because, like, you know, I would carve the stamp. But for any piece I sell, I want it to be something that I actually made. The only things that I see that would be mass produced would be coloring books, scrapbook paper, and possibly tote bags. Because I was thinking about it, not many people use a fucking fabric tote bag. Like, you get like a blank canvas, like uh, the khaki type material, and then you stamp paint on it. But, in Washington rather, I don't see many people use the cloth bags, I see a lot more plastic. I love totes. Okay, well I'll make you a fabric one. <laughs> Because, like, imagine piece and art gets to a point. Like, you know how Victoria's Secret, you purchase $100, you get a free tote bag? We should do that for piece and art. But it's, like, a $200 purchase. Kim has so many She went crazy trying to get one at a farmer's market. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, I love tote bag girlies, but... 
I'm kind of scared now. I don't think I ever use a plastic or sorry, a fabric tote bag unless it's for like books or something. Like, don't ever use fabric tote bags for groceries because you don't want moisture to get in. Same thing with your plastic tote bags, like, make sure you clean them semi-regularly. That way, in case every anything ever did leak, you don't spread the germs. And try to have a separate tote bag for your, like, fridge items and meats, separate from your veggies. You gotta keep them segregated. I would love to design like a plastic expandable tote bag. I got a cooler tote, me too, I love it. And it's Winkle branded. And I think the, yeah, the Winkle tote that I have has a zipper. Do we have anybody who, like, has connections to make a tote bag? <laughs> oh wait, Mac. You're in chat. What are you gonna do now that you're graduated? I'm wearing a black dress. Should I bring a green bag or a brown bag? Um, green. A little bit of color pop. Black and brown ain't it. That's like what men wear. Ew. I'm gonna ride out a year on my work and move? W plan. Especially with what you're earning now, you should be able to save if you're staying with your parents. But like, even if you're working for this year, still be like, um... Networking and shit. Still have like your eyes on job opportunities. Go to job fairs still. That way you're like, still have that rhythm down for when you're actually looking for work. You need to fight your school for your diploma, dude. I just need 4k. I think it's down to like 4400? I can still request my transcript at any time. Like if an employer like wants my transcript, they just have to fax my school. But in order for me to get my physical, like actual diploma, like in the case, I have to pay off my debt. So I'm, I'm not too concerned. You guys wouldn't be able to see it because it has my name on it anyway. I won't be able to post it to Instagram to get likes. The paper ain't worth it? That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't hang it up either. Like, I would just keep it in a closet, so like, it's not a huge priority right now for me. You know, if I hung up my diploma, I would have less room for my paintings. I'll get it at some point though. Whenever my YouTube money kicks in. I got auto modded. Wait, what'd you say?
My frame got a quote, and the quote says, I hate men. That's so funny. <laughs> and then... <laughs> like, did Michaels really let you get that printed? Also, guys, click the, click the follow button, I'll tell you thank you. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, send me a photo if you can find it, Kim.
Isn't it illegal for your school to hold on to your diploma? It depends on what state you live in, and then also state your college is in. So, I don't know what state exactly can withhold your diploma. But a lot of the- it's like kind of- It's usually a clause you'll see in like your school's like rules and agreements, like the thing you have to sign in order for you to enroll. It'll either have a clause explaining that you either have to pay off your tuition in full before you can receive your physical diploma, or it'll state that the institution can withhold your diploma until your, your um, tuition is paid. Um, since I live in Washington, in Washington State, it's illegal for any university to withhold your diploma, even if you get a degree out of your residential state. So, But it, it also didn't matter because the state where I got my education, because I did online college, it's illegal for a university to hold your diploma in that state too, so like, that's fine. But in some states, it's still legal for them to do it. In California, it's illegal. It's not something that's talked about often though. And also, um, the law refers to physical diploma and then also transcript. It is still legal in some states for your university to withhold your transcript too. So if your university really wanted to cook you, they would just... Some states they can legally withhold your transcript and your GPA too. I remember I saw it being covered more in like local and I think some national news networks like a year or two ago. Because that's when like a lot of people were applying for online jobs so then because of that employers had to like request transcripts through the university because they could like obviously you can't mail your transcript unless you have a copy. So I know it prevented a lot of people from getting jobs. I wonder why not just do a background check, because it costs the company money. Every time a company does a background check, it costs them like, I think, 50 bucks? It's looking really good, thank you, Alien. Bye, Kim! Thank you for hanging out. We'll see you later.
Let's see, we're two hours in. And probably another two hours. Ain't no way I can get this done in two. Also, my band is falling off. Awkward. Because these Hello Kitty band aids are weak. Yeah, I'm gonna have to grab a new band aid. Not now, though. After the stroke, probably. Okay, I'm gonna grab a new band-aid.
I believe that is all the light black. A lot of empty space still, but we're getting there. So since I did two lines of light black, it'll be three lines of medium gray. Tinnitus is incoming. No, purple tonight. Tinnitus is... No, why do I keep saying tonight? Tinnitus is when you hear ringing. Dude! <laughs> purple tunnel is when you do repetitive motions. I was I saying? I always mix them up. I, I know they're different, but I just say the wrong thing. So since we're nearing pure white, I'm going to start doing slightly thicker blooms or strokes. Just so there's less white space. Since I'm able to do larger plumes, it's going faster. I think also because if I'm doing larger plumes, I have a lot more leeway 
when doing the line work. Like if I overshoot, then I could just say I'm intentionally made a larger plume. So this painting for the line art, like the grooves inside, will only have one layer of paint because I kind of like how the lighter colors are slightly less opaque. It makes it look more organic too versus like a full flood matte color. Yeah, Kim went to get milk. I don't know if she's coming back. Halfway done with the line, so oh, no, more like a third. I keep getting notice from Pokemon Go. Should I block them? Yeah. You know what I'll say? It's screw Pokemon! I've been an avid Pokemon hater for forever. Nintendo, if you're watching the stream, I'm kidding.
My stepmom got me $300 shoes for my birthday? Nice. You better not scuff your J's now. I think it's near impossible to not crease shoes. Because you're not... Like, when you walk, your feet don't stay flat. I think it's silly when people get upset when their shoes get creased. Okay, see you in a bit, Mac. Don't worry, I'm not gonna finish the painting. This girl at school would put her whole leg up so she wouldn't crease her Walmart shoes. <laughs> I'm just picturing it. She'd have to look like... The way she walking. Like how a kid draws people walking, like just their legs straight out. You know, stick figure. Parents who get mad at you crease new shoes, it's like parents who get mad when there's dirt on their pants. It's like, dude, they're a kid. Or they're a teen. It's like, they're not gonna be clean. That's why, like, I ain't ever having kids, but if I had a kid, they're getting cheap shit. They're not getting no Gucci shit. I shower every year. Uh, I hope that's a lie.
It is? Okay. The top half is done with the medium gray. That took 20 minutes. Guys, yeah, streaming is a real job.
right here on my finger is getting numb. I think I'm holding my brush too hard. I think also, like, the grip on this brush is weird. It's like two rounded nibs, so, like, my finger tucks right in the, the crease. That's probably it. I should probably tape this or something. Just so it's like a, a flat edge instead of like a corner.
A medium gray section is done. Get in there. This brush really is hurting my fingers. I think we're gonna get some washi tape. Just to make like the restless rounded here. I don't know why they made the handle like that. It really hurts. It only started hurting, hurting after like maybe an hour and a half of using this brush. this helps oh yeah that's already a lot better because i was resting my finger too much into that little nook oh that's a lot better oh my god i thought it was cooked Now for the second lightest gray, basically white, but not white. There's one more gray after this one. See, so yeah, we're at 251. I could probably get this done by four hours, which is how long it actually took me for the original. So, since we did three of medium gray, it'll be three of this second lightest gray. The only thing different is that in the original, there's some um, second lightest gray here. Otherwise, it's just building on top of the medium gray.
I forgot that it's four strokes for this second lattice grade, and I put three in some sections, that's why I'm going back. I'm like, I'm almost done, like, 20 more minutes. 20 or 30 more minutes. It's getting hot though, it's 85 now. Ew. Yours will look a little bit different than the original, but that's the glory of the groove's design. It'll always be different.
I'm gonna put it next to the other painting. I feel like that makes the most sense. I think sandwiching them on top of each other could be another strat. And if you get six, you could make like a cube. No, 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 it'd be a rectangle because these are rectangles. A rectangular prism. And then you can hang it from the ceiling like a chandelier. Let's see, it's one thirty. I'm not doing too bad on time. Uh, guys, click the follow button right now, and I'll thank you. The gray and black is nice, I know. Oh, the grading is so nice on this piece. I want to do more in this style. I had ideas of doing like a full painting in this wood grain look, but to make different shapes, I guess.
No longer listening to Korean Soul, listening to Clancy by Twin Pilots. It's over my head. I don't want it back. Stop. It's over my head.
Wait, second lattice gray is done. All that's left is gray that's basically white, and then we're done. About 10 more minutes. No, maybe 15. My goal is to be done within 30, so I'm on track. Because the original took four hours. Because basically, there's a white gap here, 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 here. the fun part. Since the white is less visible against the um, the base background, I can basically do whatever shape I want in the inside. Because I think the strokes look a lot like zebra print. Especially this one here, I made an unintentional like triangle shape. Or corner. So I can go kind of, like I can alternate the sides of which I start the strokes with the white. I was only gonna do two layers of red. It's fairly OP, and I was able to blend correctly this time, so there's not like a thick line of paint. So beautiful, the space between a painful reminder and a terrible dream. You've been near the fall. I'll be the torture you were. The only hard part about painting the white and white is that I can't see the white. <laughs> you have to work quick. That way, instead of looking for the color on the canvas, you're looking for the light reflecting off the wet paint.
Okay, top half is done. Probably about 10 minutes left. I'm on PVPs. Say enough, say enough, did I let him know, let him know, or if I found mine. I'm learning the craving, the final verse. I'm stretching my left arm. To catch a wave, ride it out to the end of the days. And how I see a gesture don't mean much. Hold up on my body and chains, I have laid down and wait. And oh, she looks good. And oh, she looks. Every step we take and I just hate to put this on her But I swear that I will Dude, it's so hard! Say enough, say enough Did I let it know, let it know If I found my body 
body in chains I lay down and wait Cause it's the fear of the unknown That befalls every step we take And I just hate to put this on her But I swear that I will give More than I take he says it too fast. Now I see tensions don't much. Okay, it'll be a miracle if I get this done by 345. Like Speed run time, not up time. <laughs> it's really hard to see the white. I got a minute 30 to get this done. Who believes? Walking like you deserve it. Welcome to the new way of living. It's just the beginning of lavish from the floor to the ceiling.
Nah, I can't. A minute would be crazy. This will for sure get done by 3.50 uptime. in my domain my home give me some advice I am wasting you know I didn't mind navigating the single until Justin said he hated it now I don't like it I definitely think Navigating is the most catchy single from Clancy. But it feels too poppy. I'm navigating. Mother disassociate. I'm navigating. Give me some advice. I am wasting all this time. Oh my. Okay, I got 2.30 for this one section. You guys can't see it, but I have my eyes like right at canvas level. Just so I can see the wet paint. strokes of paint of course just in case twitch staff was listening done i'm done stop the timer uh, 3 48 exactly <laughs> no milliseconds sick okay i'm gonna rinse the brush and then we'll do close-ups Nice, on track, because this painting usually takes about four hours, so on track. If I would have did this offline, it would have taken me three.
Dang, it's so clean. Guys, you were here. You were here. Do you want me to DM you pictures, Mac? I can send you pictures on Twitter. Got a bad feeling. Oh my god. This finger hurts so much. The stupid grip on this paintbrush ain't in it. I, Electro. I don't know what I was doing there. It's a backslide. It a hard ride. I think the most opaque paint is the medium gray. Kind of mid for medium gray. All the other colors are pretty opaque. But it's intentional, Max, so if you see this and you're like, the color isn't clear on the grays, it's supposed to be like that. I've been drawing with you the whole time. Oh, that's so cute. What are you working on, Electra? Are you doing more fan art? Wait, no! I missed a spot! No! There's one little sliver! Could imagine I sent it like this unfinished cringe. Of course it's white, no wonder I didn't see it. I lied. I baited everyone to type in chat. You watch this. The actual final stroke. I can tell I missed it because there was too much holograph in one section. Okay, now for real. For real, I'm done. 349.09.75, not too bad. New PB! I'm doing fan art? Cool. You know, I don't look at my viewers' profiles, but I'll sometimes look at a lectures to see if they have any art. Oh no. Okay, thank god. That was dried white paint that I actually got on here. That's what I get for, like, putting my actual paint containers on the piece as I paint. Okay, I need to retouch this red, actually. Because I accidentally scratched some off. Oops. Don't worry, Mac, you're only getting the highest quality painting. Uh, talking about high quality, guys. Bookmark my website, click the link in the pin chat. And if you use my code TWITCH10, you get $10 off your purchase today. I've been praying for my elasticity To return to the way Okay, good. You, you wouldn't notice it unless you see it in person, but I fixed it. Yeah, I'm checking for any other botch spots. You know, that's the glory of repainting. None will be the same, and there always will be mistakes. I don't think I messed up anything on this one. There was one section where, like, the white did touch the black line. Uh oh. But you won't see it as much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's done! Look at this bad boy. The Grooves Painting, number one. Let's get some close-ups. 
I know it's harder to see when it's zoomed out. The gradient looks so nice. There we go. Um, should we stamp the back? I'm gonna wait for the paint to dry. We gotta wait five minutes. Should I stamp the the canvas before I paint? <laughs> I just thought of that. So, how have you guys been doing? Huh? Enjoying your Saturday? Don't blind line how long red lights are taken. This line always makes me cry. You're in the crowd at a first dance recital. The first six times that I heard this song, Oldie Station, I cried at that line. <laughs> Starter's trigger bound to break. And darkness rolls on you. Sorry, I saw more white paint on there. What's for dinner today, your mom? Um, I cooked this morning. I made my favorite sister stuffed mushrooms. With mushroom, panko, and shrimp. And then I also made her pasta because there was leftover chicken tikka masala sauce. And then for me tonight... Um... There's not much for me to eat. Because I made the mistake of... <laughs> Not buying food for me. I only bought food that my sister liked. It'll either be like hash brown. Or maybe something from the freezer. I forgot. Because since I had to buy soap and toothpaste this week, that was $20. And $20, I was like, shit. By the time I got to the meat section, I was out of money. But that's why, like, I always keep, like, extra fish in the freezer. That way, if there's a week we're running short, or if I forget, there's always something to eat. So please, keep it a minute. Check on your friends every once in a while. Even if they say, I don't want anyone to me or not. See me at my lowest, you don't have to drop, drop, drop. Don't have to drop by, nothing you can do this time. That's the best line! Or it's the chorus. It's so catchy. At the at the fear? At the risk of what you've done? It's so catchy. I like this song. Just keep your plans a hope that you never have to drop. This, this is the section with the most white. You can see the reflection a little bit. The white details against the chrome. Okay, I think... Yeah, we can stamp the back. Make sure it's the right way. Just keep your plans up that you never have to drop. There will always be like a slight like discoloration on the background because I paint on this table and there's residual paint, but I think it's kind of charming. So... It's normal for there to be, like, paint on the back. Okay, I have to stamp this well. <laughs> it can't be fog. <laughs> okay, I'm cleaning this ink now, so that way I don't smear back soon. See me at my lowest. You ready? Now it's an official piece in painting. You never have to drop. 
Yeah, look at that. Colleen. Now it's real. Nobody take the signature. Scalpers don't. The reason why it's a stamp and not pen anymore is because I realized it's a lot easier to forge a pen signature than a stamp. Because with a stamp signature or a carving, it's a lot harder to emulate. Because it's a different type of ink. So like if, if this were to go to a real museum, like the restores, they'd be able to tell what type of ink it was. And then also, all the little nicks and impurities, not impurities, sorry, like mistakes from like a hand carving is a lot harder to replicate. Also my music stopped, why did it stop? I'm gonna steal it? No! No! Oh. I was like, why did my music stop? I accidentally muted it. Leave me on my list. There we go. Signature on there. Painting done. Very nice. Um, once again, thank you, Mac, for buying this. We know it's from Mac because they bought it during the stream. Thank you, Mac. Plus, Mac used a gift card, so plus sixty dollars. Yeah. <laughs> the plan is simple. I should be able to mail this, um, Monday or Tuesday. I also ordered inserts. Wait, I'm gonna see when actually it'll come in the mail. Everyone soon around. I don't want anyone on me or not. Nothing you can do this time. Okay, it's not telling me when my thing was my postcards are gonna be print printed. Allegedly, I know somebody who works in, for like postal service. And they said the worst time to mail shit is gonna be September and August, because all the mail-in ballots. What the fuck? Okay, well, the stupid website that I bought the postcards on ain't working. I think they said they're not gonna come until next Saturday anyway, so I wanna get this out to you ASAP, Mac. When I mailed Kim's Christmas gift last year, it was so cooked. Yeah, like, it's because I will not confirm nor deny, but <laughs> allegedly, a lot of Amazon packages get sent and are delivered by USPS, UPS, FedEx, too. Like, they just fucking send it to those facilities. Like, if it's for, like, an international package, like, sometimes Amazon doesn't have enough warehouses to process international packages, so, like, um, there's a huge workload, even more so, on, like, the National Postal Service and then other private entities. So, I wanted to say, I know people who have worked at Amazon, right? I would say, if you have the option to deliver on the same day, please just fucking do that. Like, if you're like, oh... If you order five things, just have them be sent and delivered to you on the same day. Like, just, you don't need shit the next day. You don't. I've seen my package get delivered by somebody in a car. Yeah, I don't, I don't get what's going on. What was I gonna say? Yeah, so I'll try and mail this to you by Tuesday, Mac. Because it's too late today and also postage ain't open Sunday. Yeah, that's the plan. Guys, exclamation point shop in chat, exclamation point blog. Make sure you have my website bookmarked 
Can somebody type that in chat, please? I, I don't want to get up and type my laptop. Blog post coming soon. Also, the next drop for this website will be trading cards. It'll be stamps with either regular lino print or embossed prints and then color options too. The, the prices for those will range between five and twenty dollars. I'm still determining how I want to price it because for sketch cards I will offer a regular stamp print so just ink on paper, an embossed print, a regular ink print with color, and then a regular, oh no, and then an embossed print with color. So, whenever I'm starting to work on those, I will go live probably whenever we're testing out like embossing and colors. We're gonna work with, by we, I mean me, it'll either be coloring with marker or coloring with watercolor. So I'll probably do that during an actual stream while I'm workshopping. That way we can kind of decide what I like more and then what maybe chat likes more. Because obviously you guys are the ones who will be potentially purchasing. Yeah, I know a lot of people mentioned that paintings are too expensive, which valid. But the reason why I started off with paintings first is that way, if I start with higher price point, yeah, I'll have a smaller market, but then I'll be able to buy more supplies. Because, like, if I started with the lino prints or stickers, um, then I would have only made, like, max fucking $50 the past year. Versus, uh, the income from the three paintings is, like, 400 About. No, it's, like, 300 because Matt got a discount. <laughs> So, like, th the $300 went back into buying shit, so. Yeah, I think the price points are valid for what it is. Like, <laughs> dude, I was showing my sister's friend the website the other day, and she's like, girl, you're charging Van Gogh prices. And I'm like, bitch, shut the fuck up. These are, like, actual paintings. They're not prints. <laughs> like, shut up. But, like I said, I still want to stick to the idea of everybody who does make a purchase gets, like, an actual piece made by me. Whether it be, like, an actual painting or a lino print. It's it's me physically doing everything. I don't want to just click print on a computer and sell that. I think it's so scum. Clippers don't. I think it's so scum whenever I see somebody selling, like, a larger print. Whether framed or just like a canvas unrolled or rolled canvas, where it's like a let's say a, a four by six painting feet, and they charge like two hundred dollars for that. It's like it does not cost you two hundred dollars to make that print. It probably costs you maybe twenty. Like why are you charging so fucking much? It it really annoys me. And like prints usually look like ass anyway on canvas. They always look pixelated, they don't... Because, like, the whole point of a painting... Um... It's a little harder to see, because a lot of my work is flat color. But... If you ever have a chance to, like, look at art in real life, you can tell there's texture. It's not just flat. You can see there's layers of paint. There will always be a shadow, depending on the light source, of the actual paint. Because it'll be thicker in some parts. Prints aren't good, I know. Some look like shit. I think it only makes sense to do digital prints if you're doing digital art. Then that makes sense, because, like, it'll look flat. But with, like, a physical painting, I think prints, shit. I don't, I don't ever want to do it. Yeah, I have a lot of subtle texture with mine, because I do the... The horizontal acrylic base. And then I, the, the house paint is kind of clumpy, but I kind of like that it's clumpy. I know a lot of people will go back and sand their paintings, but I'm like, why? Why? I like that it's clumpy. Anyway, enough hot takes. I'm hungry. I can literally hear my stomach grumbling. So, Mac, once again, thank you for your order. Thank you. I'm glad you used your coupon. Oh, also, I said this the past few days, but just a reminder. If you are a current Twitch subscriber on the main channel, PSN underscore 17, you get an exclusive $17 off your purchase of $20 or more. All you gotta do 
is message me during a or tell me during a stream and then I'll message you the code either on social media or Twitch whispers. Not for any of the nefarious reasons, Twitch dev. Sand it? Yeah. Like, sometimes if you see, like, a clump of paint, people will, like, sand it. Yeah, I'm annoyed, Mac, because the review you gave me last year got deleted. Because the Shopify software that I used for reviews, they took it down. So it just deleted your review. I can't access it at all. So, like, I can't even, like, fake and rewrite your review. So... Please submit a new one for this one. They only gave me like a, a week notice for the stupid review thing being removed. And I was like, what am I gonna do? Oh, also, Mac, remind Kim to submit her review. She needs to do it. We need to we need to pump our numbers. <laughs> um, anything else? Any other drama? Okay, next time I should be live on this channel is if we get another order. Or, in like two weeks, or a week and a half, depending on how much I get prep done, a shareholders meeting, where we will be dropping the next, or the first line of sketch tra trading cards, or line of print trading cards, and going over the plans and themes for the upcoming quarter three, even though we're already in July. <laughs> and also, that stream will include a giveaway of two gift cards to the shop. Only $25. We're not doing $50 gift cards anymore because we're doing lower price point items soon. And also, an actual giveaway of the whole print collection. You can either choose colored, embossed, or just lino print versions. That'll be in two weeks. I will post on my main Twitter account for that stream. And also, if you don't want to miss it, follow this channel and have notifications turned on. Do it. Okay. Thank you for watching. Any shadows like Chris? Thank you for hanging out. I hope you guys enjoyed. Look at this. Screenshot it. No, don't. Don't steal art. <laughs> okay. I'll see you guys later. Like I said, live on this channel probably in like a week and a half or two weeks. But I will be live on my main channel Monday with July's themed week. If you know you know. And if you don't know, you'll find out on Monday. Goodbye. <laughs> of course, thank you, Mac, for ordering. I'm glad you like it. Also, I know my art isn't, like, super popular in the sense of, like, abstract is still, like, a very niche style, so I'm glad that, like, people watch, some people buy. Because, you know, art is my passion. Even though I'm past the point of no return. I don't like Paladin Strat. I think it's kind of mid for a slow top song. But the vocals are really pretty. Thank you, Mac. And like, I keep saying this. Like, don't buy shit if you genuinely don't like it. Because, like, Mac and Kim both sent me pictures of their paintings hung up. And it's so cute to see it. Who's Chappelle Roan? Is that, like, another gay music artist? Everybody keeps telling me to listen to gay-ass music. Not as a pejorative, as an adjective Twitch death. Point of no return. I said this yesterday, but I will do a stream where I listen to all the music that chat recommends. Wait, she looks familiar. Oh, hot to go! Squeaks- <laughs> Squeaks' his chat always tells him to play that song. H-O-O-T-O -O -O, to go! Or some shit like that? Okay, I gotta go. I'm gonna go eat. Bye, guys. I'll send you pictures back in a bit. Okay, bye-bye.